Anything on David Lean? Or well, that, that was one of the most wonderful times of my whole family because we went, we went to Madrid and we were there for seven months in the winter while they were shooting. And then we did the post-production in Los Angeles. But I mean, working every day, the rushes were processed in England. They were shipped out by plane, processed and sent back. We went out to America and had the most wonderful time of our lives. No money. I was paid 49 pounds a week and I had $49 expenses. My wife was out there with him and we had an apartment and I had a bicycle to go to work. And it was in the days when it was all smoggy over there in Los Angeles. But I got on very well with MGM. I was MGM staff then. Got on very well with the big, you know, Mel Chamberlain and all the executives over there because they didn't like Wynn. <laughs> because the first thing he said, I don't want that mixer doing Chivago. And that was the senior mixer, uh, what was his name, for, for, uh, Bill Steinkamp, who was a senior mixer there. And he used to just put up six tracks and put them down. Well, that's not the way that Wynn dub pictures and neither did David. And anyhow, they got him fired, which was absolutely embarrassing. Uh, you know, awful time. And we had a huge number of, of, of sound editors there that all worked in little rooms on their own with headphones on. They were sort of in hundreds of them. They'd have one, one job, which would be to do doors, say. And then one dog job was gunshots. And a completely different way to what was working in England, where the sound editor had, say, a couple of others, and you would, you know, complete the picture yourselves. So, and, and I was very privileged. I was mean, only a youngster then. <laughs> and, but I knew, and I could do things that senior assistants over there had never been taught. I had a very good training at MGM. I did everything. We started in the numbering room when, in 1959. We had a, a premiere over there, which was fantastic. They, they, uh, we went to the wardrobe department there and I got my dinner dress, dinner suit, and Jenny had a mink coat, which we borrowed from her. And, and so did Magdalena Paradell, who was the assistant. And Magdalena thought she'd been given it because she tried to take it home, <laughs> tried to steal it. When we were going home, she got caught by somebody saying, you know, come here, I think you've got something in your bag which is not yours. But anyhow, that's just a little aside. I don't even know if Magdalena is alive now. She was about my age. She'd probably be 82 or three now. 